and um, after she died, I, I did this memento to her, and uh, it took the form of, I started by projecting old porno films from, uh, from the, the 50s, and uh, just these old grainy porno films, you know, hard to see, uh, fucking and sucking from the past, projected onto this screen. And then I, I was behind the screen on a harness with my explosives on. And when the, when the old porno films ended, I burst through the screen, hanging upside down from the ceiling on this, uh, this harness, exploding, swinging out over the audience. And, you know, you think about it. Uh, it was fucking and sucking from the past that created me. It's a recreation of birth. Here I was born again. Here's this fucking and sucking that I explode from. And to me, the, the theory of uh, the, the Big Bang theory becomes literal. You know, I, I'm born in an explosion. Attached to the ceiling, which is like the umbilical cord. That I'm attached to. And I was cut down by my wife at the time, who severed the umbilical cord and put out the fires with blood because I was on fire from the explosion. And then I went into the audience with, uh, with the, the two mice who were at this time named Mommy and Daddy. My father had died, you know, several years before, but I did this uh, that included him in it too, and I spoke on about, you know, the the, the salvation of death, you know. Uh, so there's a point that death becomes merciful, and life is the cruel, you know, and. Uh, in modern uh, hospitals, people are kept alive much longer than they should be, that nature did not intend. And, you know, I did this communion ritual, which is very much like the, the ritual that I was brought up in, in Catholicism, where I was taught uh, to eat the body and drink the blood of Christ in symbol uh, so that you would have him inside of you. So I I bit the head off of this mouse which became my mother which was which was mommy and I swallowed the head thereby incorporating her inside me so that even though she died she would still be within me. And then uh, at that time Nancy set up all these, uh, f uh, this an effigy of me and these other explosions in the background so that there was fire all over the place. Because my mother believed that when she died, she was going to hell. So I recreated hell. It was it became hell there. The place was then covered with smoke. Smoke was everywhere. And all the, uh, the fire alarms went off. And that's when the firemen came and the cops, and that's when they charged me with uh, this infernal machine charge. And then it went off into this other direction where the world took what I did and did something else with it. Th throughout my life, uh, also as well as um, the expressions through, uh, through painting and performance, I also have this need to bring in uh, or collect objects that some somehow relate to things in me and have some kind of significance for me, to have them around me, you know, to, uh, so that it's not inside but, but on the outside, to be surrounded by, by these things that represent the internal. Um, you know, like for instance, we, met, we mentioned uh, Richard Speck before. This is a wax figure from, that used to be in Coney Island. It's the, uh, the 
the image of Richard Speck, and those are the original signs that went with him. Uh, one of them, being in Spanish, describes him as the prototype of a society in complete decomposition. Uh, another, you know, significant wax figure is this one over here, uh, which was from a San Francisco wax museum, and it's a, an oriental prisoner being eaten by rats. So it's almost like um, my death where uh, the rats take revenge and eat me because that's what life is about, eating and being eaten, even if it's microorganisms or whatever it is. You know, one day I'll be eaten. I eat and I will, I will be eaten. What about um, the masks, Joe? Uh, the masks are... Uh, there's several different uh, ones up here. They, these are Mexican masks that are right above me here. Um, these these two are particularly interesting. They're uh, a reverse beetle, where the shell becomes a human head. In that case, it's the head of a bishop, and in this one, it's the head of a devil or Satan himself. I also collect a lot of two-headed objects, too, because I was born in uh, 11-22-55, which is all double numbers, and uh, the house across the street from the cemetery was at 99 Ward Street, and it also goes along with my feelings of, uh, of split personalities, of, uh, of having, like, uh, a Mr. Hyde, which may be this Dr. Mambuzu and a Dr. Jekyll, you know, the, the good half, too, which is, you know, more like me, at least, um, you know, the Christ and the Antichrist, again. Two, two people in the same person, two sides of the same self. There's a two-headed calf up there and uh, a two-headed baby up here and... Uh, Several different uh, two-headed objects, a two-headed Ishu over there, which is a Makumba um, voodoo character. Several different two-headed objects, um, objects dealing with cancer, which I feel I have a genetic predisposition for, because it appears a lot in my family. Uh, Uh, objects relating to different things in my life, 